What is up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about how to erase an SSD or any format storage. Now you're wondering why teach us something simple when we can just go under the device and control all and delete it. That's the incorrect way to do it. The reason why is if you use your device for installing apps, it may have hidden files like configuration files and other different other files you can delete from File Explorer. So it's a good idea to wipe your drive using these two methods, one of them. Now there's two different ways to erase this. You can do it through the terminal, which is the most common thing that everybody does, or you can erase it through the motherboard, through BIOS, with if your motherboard supports secure erase. Without further ado, let's get into okay, the Okay, so, first way to do it is through the command prop. Now if your motherboard doesn't have a secure erase feature, you can do it through the command prompt. Now, I'm going to be using a USB for this demonstration. And what you can do is you can go to Windows and then type in CMD. That'll pop up in there. And then before clicking enter, don't click enter, run as administrator. And click yes. From this part, you type in this part all together. It's gonna run in a disk part. And then what you wanna do is list disk. And then your disk will pop up. Now, depending on the drive you wanna use, it will not show the name of your drive. So the easiest way to figure this out is to right click on the start menu then go to disk management and then depending on what name of the drive it is or if you know the letter path let's say for instance I want to delete that it's going to say disk 3 so we know it's disk 3 so type in select disk 3 and it's gonna say disk 3 is now the select disk so to re-double check that, type in this, this again, and then if it has a asterisk on it, that means it's a selected disk to make sure, then type in clean, and it should give you a confirmation message, and to verify this is a brand new disk, we're going to exit. Save to close. Right click on the start menu again. Check disk management. See here it's a brand new drive unallocated. So what you would do is after doing this, you right click on this black bar and you select new simple volume reformat it to reuse it you can keep the size the same obviously you want the full capacity any drive letter can be selected in any volume label aka name i named it media transfer you can name it anything you want you get a summary there you go for example if you wanted to wipe your ssd in this method it would work the same way just reformat it but another way to do it is through your motherboard i'm going to teach you how first things we're going to do is restart the computer for the motherboard once we see that, hit the delete key, spam it. What we're going to do is we're going to go to settings, go to advanced, secure race. It says it'll delete all your thing, and then it'll immediately shut off. Turn back on. First time I did this, I thought I broke this, but it's just doing its thing. And then from here, you select your drive. And then select yes. It says it's complete and now the computer will restart. And it's restarting. So as you can see here, it's a new drive. So if you go to, two, you right click on, and go to disk management, 
it completely identifies as a new drive. Okay, Hopefully so this another... tutorial was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments section below. Give it a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Let me know what how-tos you want to see next.